Hi everybody, this is Boog S Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Armored Batman Blue Edition figure. So before we take a look at Batman, let's take a look at the accessories that he comes with. So first up, he comes with your standard DC Multiverse base, but he stands really well on his own, so you don't need this. Up next, he comes with his data file. There's a picture of the figure. And if you want to read that, go ahead and pause that now. He comes with a right open hand and left fisted hand. And finally, he comes with the left open hand and the right hand with the trigger finger. Now, originally, I was using uh, something else as the gun that he's supposed to come with, but I actually found a good replacement. This is from the uh, back cape playset that Mattel did. All I did was just hollow out the trigger right there. And this was huge even for the 6-inch figures, so this works perfect for the uh, McFarlane figures. So I think that looks really awesome on him. Um, he still can't uh, grip it. He can't quite grip it in both hands. But I still think this looks really good, especially since he has that trigger finger right there. So this figure is just a repaint of the uh, previous figure. And uh, here you can see the new version, the first version, which I'm pretty sure in the video I did uh, for this one, I said that Todd would probably do one in this collar. Um, I either said that or I wanted one in the more accurate collar scheme. And we have it now. Um, this is the most accurate one. This is the Mattel one. And I really wish that the new blue version, um, it has a yellow belt, but it's a really, really light color. I wish it would have been uh, more of this color yellow. But overall, I do like this version better because it is more accurate. Uh, it's more accurate than this one. As I said, the figure is the same, but this time it's done in blue and it's marbleized. The marbleized metallic blue looks really nice on the figure. It looks really cool. Uh, my only complaint is that on the right side, there is a really big gap right there. Um, so if you keep the arm like that, you can hide it. But yeah, mine has a gap on the right side. Uh, the left side's fine. It, it bends the way the, the first version did, the way it's supposed to. But yeah, this one has that gap right there. So I try to keep the arm like that. That way it can hide it. There's the cape. Again, it has that awesome texturing, the same awesome texturing as the previous version. And underneath the armor, the uh, textured suit is done in light gray. It was done in like a uh, bluish color, I think. It was like a bluish gray color in the last one. But yeah, this one is definitely a better figure. Um, I like the colors of this way more. Which, honestly, I might use this as a stand-in uh, for a Batman vs. Superman ba armored Batman figure um, with my McFarlane movie figures. So let's go over his articulation now. Um, I can't remember if the articulation is exactly the same as the last one or not, so I'm going to go ahead and go over it. So he can look up all the way. He can't look down all the way. It's because the armor is sculpted this way, which that doesn't bother me. He can move his head side to side, and you get some pretty good tilting. He has ball-jointed shoulders that move all the way out. You just have to raise the shoulder pads up a little bit so they can move all the way out. He has excellent butterfly joints. Um, he has single-jointed elbow that can only bend in that far, and it swivels right here. It does not swivel up in here, so it swivels right here. And he has ball-jointed wrists that can move uh, up and down very slightly and spin all the way around. Again, the armor, the way it's sculpted, it does hinder that a little bit, but uh, the Mattel one was the same way. He has a ball-jointed waist that can move back just a little bit, can crunch forward just a little bit, can move side to side and spin around like that. He has hips that can just about do a complete split. He has swivel at the thigh that moves very nicely. He can kick forward that far. Uh, the armor does hit on the belt right there, so that's all the further you're going to get it to move. Can move back all the way. He has double jointed knees. They can just about bend in all the way. The armor does stop it right there, but it can bend pretty nicely for the most part. He has ball jointed ankles that can move down all the way, up all the way and spin all the way around. And finally, he has toe articulation that can move up all the way. And I also forgot to mention that there's actually silver painted on the ends of the spikes on the bottoms of his boots. So that's a really nice attention to detail. So uh, before I do some size comparisons, I wanted to show off, I did mod the previous uh, Mattel Dark Knight Returns Batman figures, uh, the heads out on them, so I could swap them with this. So I wanted to show that off in this video. So first up, here he is with my modded out head for the armored Batman figure. And the collars don't match up, but that looks really nice. That's a more accurate head sculpt. Uh, the upcoming two-pack with Superman is going to feature this head sculpt on the figure. But um, it, it was a little difficult to mod out, but if you have the Mattel version, it is doable. 
And then here he is with his unmasked head sculpt. Um, this was another one I modded out. This one is a lot easier to mod out to fit this body uh, than the other one. So yeah, I really like how that looks. And I'm glad I did this because this gives me different display options for the figure. So first up, here he is next to the Mattel version. And finally, here he is next to the previous version. So overall, I would highly recommend picking this version up. Um, I would actually recommend picking this version up over the uh, the previous version. Because as I said, this one features more accurate color schemes. Still not completely accurate, but I think this is probably the most accurate you're going to get for the figure. So if I had to choose one, I would definitely pick up this version. So that's my review. If you liked this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.